Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Erica, or Ricky Mickey Plans, if you are looking on Instagram. And I know that sometimes through this summer, I've been doing planner videos, and sometimes I'll be doing scrapbook videos, but today's a planner video. And so I am planning my week of July 24th through the 30th in my classic size happy planner. Then I'm gonna take off the disc so that I can work on it. But I'm going to leave these here for just a second because I'm going to kind of walk you through my summer. If you've been watching my channel at all, you know that back here, the first full week of June, I started sort of a pattern. Yellow to purple, get rid of the yellow, keep the purple. Purple to blue, get rid of the purple, keep the blue. Blue to pink, you get it. Pink to yellow. Yellow to red. Red to green. Green to pink which is here. And so now I need pink and stick with me. I'm gonna do pink and brown. I oh, know, what in the world, pink and brown? That's not very summery. I know, but I have a reason. Um, reason number one, my husband and my son are doing a race on Saturday called the Tough Mudder and Mud Brown. You know, it made sense. Um, and also, it's my last full, full week of summer break, and so I'm a little sad about it, so that's kind of got me feeling muddy. And so it made sense to go with pink and brown, and I think I can make it work. The Essential Seasons book has these stickers here, which are technically in their spring section, but I think they totally work for summer, and they're sort of pink and brown, right? Then there's the Sophisticated Florals book, which has pink, I'm sorry, brown and pink boxes. I know it's kind of a taupey gray brown, but it's brown. And then the Homebody book has this sticker right here, pink and brown, that I'm kind of, that was kind of the beginning of it all. So that's where I'm going with this, pink and brown for the last full week of summer break. For me. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few somethings down here. Oh, here's something else I found. Um, a long time ago, excuse me while I hop off camera, I got a bunch of stickers on super duper sale from the Planner Society and I got these mushroom stickers. And they go with pink and brown, right? So I'm gonna use these two because I think they're just beautiful. They're beautiful and they go with these. So I'm going to fill up the bottom of this here with some florals and some shrooms and we'll see where it goes from there. So that's what's happening now. something about that feels off down here or these are just kind of here so I'm have to add some greenery or something down here to make that look a little more like it's in the ground or something but now I want to work on over here where I always put a quote and um whew, falling apart in the free spirit book they have these schmutzy boxes <laughs> I don't know what else to call them clouds schmutzes puddles um, but I'm thinking I can take these two. I think they're the same color and they're kind of a mauvey pinkish brownish color and I think I can put them together and then put a quote sticker kind of over top of them. So that's my theory here. <laughs> I may regret doing this, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to take this one here. This is just to like, I don't know, maybe add a little texture behind a, a plain old quote box. And then this guy, like that. It's not perfect. That should have been up higher, but I'm gonna leave it. I could use these down here where I said I needed something. Remember that? Could kind of do like that. That's not bad. I will come back to that plan. For now, I'm gonna stick with what I was doing here. And so I was going to use this sticker 
which is technically in their autumn section. But again, I'm making pink and brown work for me. I'm gonna put this right here. And yeah, I lost a lot of that schmutzy sticker, but there's enough of it sticking up over the top that I think it's kind of fun. I don't mind it. I kind of mind it. And was there something else in this book I was gonna use? No. No, this was the other book where there was something else. I'm gonna use this for Sunday night. <laughs> and I'll tell you, well, I already kind of told you why. This is my last full week of summer. So on Sunday night, I have to meal plan for my first week of school. Because I meal prep my lunches and um, you know, my school lunches. Because cafeteria lunch, they charge teachers more than they charge kids for the same food they give the kids. Answer that. I don't know. We don't get more. We don't get better. But we get charged more. A lot more. So I don't eat in the cafeteria. Now this post-it, I will take and I will put it in next week just to have it there. Even though I haven't put a box down for church yet. <laughs> but I'm about to, right? So let's put a box for church. So here we go. This will be my box for church because I don't think there's anything else I need to write except for the word church. So I don't need a whole lot of space. We don't have like a meeting or an extra rehearsal or anything like that is what I mean by that. Um, okay, 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 okay. This will happen and I think this will happen, but let's do Tough Mudder because that's the biggie. That's the biggie. So I'm gonna take this sticker I made for Tough Mudder. You already saw this. And I need to put some information about Tough Mudder. So, pink or brown? That's the size I want. I'm not sure I'm exactly sure how I want to do this now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I think this will be enough. No, because I have no idea what to expect, so I'm going to need a bigger box. So I'm going to use the pink, even though I just used pink here on Sunday, but I'll let it be. Let it be. And then I'm going to take the Tough Mudder sticker. That's really all we're going to be doing on Saturday, except for maybe, oh, this game night Saturday. Fooey. All right. Never mind. I'm going to use the smaller box. And I'll just have to write small enough to make it work. So I'm going to take this, like this, and I shall go. like this. Excuse me while I stand on one foot and stick a tongue out and all that kind of stuff to make this work. I'm going to cut some of these little mud splats off. It's just a little bigger than I need it to be. I like the mud splats. I get the mud splats, but it's just making my, it's giving me more to deal with than I need to deal with. All right, so in there I will write where we're going. I don't know what else I have to write, what time we have to arrive, what time it starts. I've never done this, he's never done this. My husband and my son are doing that. So if you don't know what it is, it's apparently a big muddy race. That's all I know, <laughs> big muddy race. So, all right, I will take this. I will try to stick it back in the right spot. And then I'm gonna need a sticker for game night because that is still happening. So I think I'll go back to pink here since I've got another tan already on Saturday. And I'm gonna leave a little space here because I might have to write more about the Tough Mudder or we might do something after the Tough Mudder because it's like in a city where there's a big outlet mall. So we may take my son's school shopping or something. Look at that, I tried turning this over to put this to next week. I'm gonna put this in my planner over there and next week. But so, we may have something else to do there. Uh, and now I remembered something I left out. I left something out of all of this. I have to take all of this up. I gotta get my undo. 
I have to take all this up because I have to mark that my daughter is going on a trip this weekend. Phooey. I hate when I do that. All right. So I've done this the last few weeks because thus is summer. Look at that. My undo leaves schmutz nowadays. <sighs> um, summer is about vacations and trips and whatnot. And so you see me. Oh, gosh. I do this before, but I'm going to use a little bit of washi to mark my daughter's trip. This, I think I got from the washi shop. I might have gotten it on Amazon. I don't know. But it's perfect. Look, it's pink and it's got a brown grid. <laughs> like, it's kind of perfect. So here is her trip. And here's how I'm going to mark it because she leaves on Friday. I'm going to give it a flag ending because that's when it all begins. But she will not come back on Sunday. So for Sunday, I will put a blunt end because that lets me know that it continues on to the next week's spread. So that will be my daughter's trip. And now I can put these other guys back down. So now I can put church right here. And then I can put the Tough Mudder down here. And if we do do any of that other stuff I talked about now, I'll just have to write really small right in there because I'm going to put Tough Mudder like that. Okay. All is better. Okay, that's better. Now, speaking of longer things going on, my son has been um, house-sitting before this, and it ended, it's going to end on Monday. So I'm going to mark that as well. This stuff with the backing on it doesn't tear as easily as other washi, at least not when the backing's on it. So I will take this. And I'm going to go ahead and cut myself a flag. If you don't know how to cut a flag, you fold the good ends to themselves. And then on the non-folded side, you cut that direction and it gives you a nice little flag. And so I will mark this like so. And exacto knife. And then I will take this. And this is the blunt end because it continued from last week. And that will be the end of my son, who is house and pet sitting for someone else. So now those I know are like extended events. Does that make sense? You're like, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. But you can't talk to me since there we go. All right. Since I'm doing brown, I could do this brown one. It's a little darker than anything else I have. Or I could just go gold. Brown or gold. What do you think? Brown or gold? Let's go with brown, question mark. Let's... No, I'm going to go with gold because it's kind of a, I don't know. I just feel like I need some gold on this page. I just need some sparkle. So there we go. No other reason than that. So that's trash night. And then on trash night, we also have shot night. One of our family members has to take a shot every week. And so we do that on trash night. So then I can take this post-it, move it to next week. And last one is this game night here, which is happening. I don't need a sticker as big as these. I could use these rounded ones. I would not want this to be my only rounded sticker, but I could use it because it's smaller. Like I said, I'm gonna need another rounded sticker somewhere because I don't want just one. In fact, maybe I will. Let's do that for my daughter has an appointment on Tuesday. Let's do a rounded sticker for that. Because I don't need as much information for that. I'm trying to center it in the box and I'm not doing a good job at all. <laughs> if you ever 
I do that? Like, you don't have to hold your breath to get it to work, right? Okay, so that's my daughter's appointment, which I do have stickers for appointment in here somewhere. I really need to make these easier to leaf through because I spend a lot of time just leafing through this pile here, don't I? I can put a sticker here for my husband's game night. Um, appointment stickers. Oh, it's a very back one, of course. Of course it is. And I thought I had tweezers. There we go. When you're doing these teeny tiny stickers, tweezers are lovely. So I'll take that sticker, put that there, and then I can put the information inside that cute little rounded box. Okay, I think that's it for these stickers. So see, pink and brown, it works, right? And it's even kind of summery. Okay, let's do this. Um, if you're wondering how about how I have bleh, why my planner looks different than others, is I've redesigned the pages so that all the appointments and activities go on this side, and all the uh, to-do lists go on this side. By the way, post it next week. Um, and so I do want to label my to-do lists, and I think I shall do that with these. Again, I don't need them this big though, so maybe I'll use the round ones again. Let's do it. So during the school year, which will be next week, I have a work to-do list, a home to-do list, and an errands to-do list. But here in the summer, they're really just a bunch of to-do lists, so it's not as big a deal. But I do still want to put that in. I think I'm going to take this giant pink and brown guy. I know it's got a blue butterfly on it, but I don't care that much. And I'm going to stick him corner or centered. Let's do corner. I'm going to stick him right here in the corner. Just to give myself a big chunk of the blue and pink, or the pink and brown, and yeah, a little bit of blue. Um, and let's make this a to-do list. We're gonna make, they're all gonna be a to-do list, but I'm just thinking about how to label them. We'll label this guy here, kind of off to the side. And then we'll put this one right here. And I think I'm gonna take this one pink and brown butterfly and put him right here. Oh, he's cute. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Is there another pink and brown butterfly on this page? No, but there's this, which I don't want. Uh, hello today, that's kind of cute. Bicycle's adorable, but it's way bigger than anything I need. Um, yeah, I just don't know if I want anything else. I don't know, something needs to be right here, don't you think? Should I stick a mushroom over here? Kind of behind this D&D &D sticker? I could do that. Let's try pulling that up. Undo. If you don't know undo, undo pulls up stickers and usually it leaves no residue. But mine's been acting crazy. I think it may be my spatula as opposed to the undo, but I'm not sure. I'll try cleaning the spatula before my next video and we'll see. Let's take this guy here. And then we'll put these back. Yeah, that's kind of cute, right? Yeah, I just want to bring some of the design on this side. This side always gets very design heavy, and I always want to try to bring a little over here. Now, I also have three stickers that I need to put down. They are my read, my create, and my walk, which are kind of some of my goals for this summer. And so last week I did this cool thing where I put like a 
pattern paper behind the three, which you can see I did not do very well on them, but I still have them and I still try. So I'm wondering what I can use for that. None of these are just pattern. Ooh, I should put a birthday sticker. It's my mom's birthday. My mom passed away two years ago, but it's still her birthday this day. Um, yeah. And how often do I need a brown birthday sticker? I mean, come on. So let's do that. I'm going to cut some of this white off the bottom just because it's a bit much. I like a white border, but that's a lot. And then I'll just write mom's birthday above that. I'll write mom's above that. <laughs> what was I looking for? Patterned paper, patterned sticker to go behind my um, goals things. I don't think there's anything in here either. Mm, no. No, no, no. What can I use? I, I think it's technically pink and yellow, but the yellow kind of reads brown in a way. This is from that Homebody book again, Homebody Seasons. Same one I got my quote sticker from. I think this will work, especially since it's going to be mostly covered with stuff. So I'm going to take this and put it right here. See, I don't think I need that. I think I'm going to take that off, but give me a second. And then where are those other stickers? Where did they go? I lost them. There they are. I printed these guys too, little schmutzes. I don't think I'm gonna use them, but I have them. All right, so let's take this one. This is Reed. Now let's do the center one first so that they're centered. Let's do the center one first so they're centered. That was smart, Erica. You know what I meant, right? And so these are the things, these are my goals for summer and I want to do each of them every day. I'm not, but I want to. I'm gonna take that off. I don't think I need him. Woo! I knocked my undo over. Did you see that? <clears throat> I'll put him back. Yeah. I do need something right there, but I don't know what. Could be something cute out of here. Is this the book with the cuteness? No, this isn't the book with the cuteness. This is the book with the cuteness. No? Which book had the cuteness? This book had the cuteness. Um, oh look, I could put some of these up here. Well, let me go ahead with this. I have this thing that says to do that I printed in my new favorite way to print stickers, which is on address labels, clear address labels. I know, isn't it cute? It's a way to do clear stickers when you don't have clear sticker paper, because I don't have clear sticker paper. But I do have address labels. <laughs> oh, that's my new favorite thing. And so now I could put some of these too, right? I could do like this get it done. Oh, I wish I had this brown one. Maybe I shouldn't do it if I only use one. All right, stop, stop. I was going to look for fun, right? Something cute here. Um, I could set this on top of that. I don't know what I want to do right there. I could put another mushroom. No, that's weird. Do I want any more mushrooms? I could put a mushroom up here between Tuesday and Wednesday. I think I should. What mushroom have I not used yet? I've not used the morel. I've not used this kind of reddish one, but I think that's a bit big. I could do it like that, kind of in like the way I did that one. Let's do that. I don't know why. I, I, I know it's okay to use these in the summer because my yard, trust me, we have mushrooms. But I also happen to know that morels are a spring mushroom because that's when everybody goes hunting for them around here. So I feel odd putting the morel mushroom on there just because I know that one's spring. 
So I'm not gonna use the morels. Let me take these off. The only other one I haven't used is this little guy, this little fat guy. But I don't think I have a good place for him. No. All right, so there we go. I'm done with mushrooming. <laughs> All right, but I still haven't found something for here. Um, I mean, the hello today is pretty. I don't know why I'm stressing about this, but I am. I also wanted to put something down here. What were those schmutzes? Do you remember those schmutzes? They were in here. Is it worth it? I can't even find them. I found them, but I don't think I want to use them. I think what I'm going to do is take some more of this washi and I'm going to tear it long ways so it's not a straight, um, straight edge. This is so hard to pull off this paper. Um, you'll see what I mean. Um, goodness. One of my favorite planners whose name is escaping me right this now. She does this a lot. She tears her washi long ways, lengthwise, and it, it just softens it. So you can still use the grid, which is a neat look, but it softens the grid a bit. And so then I can take it and I can go like this and just add a little something to the bottom here so that that doesn't look so, I almost wish the mushrooms were on top of them, but I don't know that I can lift them. I think these are kind of stuck down. Can I lift you? Can't even grab it. <laughs> I think that means no. Yeah, no. All right, so that's just how it's gonna be. So then I can cut this off and I'll cut the length off too in a minute. And that'll look, that just gives it some something at the bottom. And it kind of ties that in too. I kind of like it. Might be a little bright or stark. Maybe I should do peach as well. What if I do a layer of peach as well? Shall we see if it works? What's the worst that can happen? It doesn't work and I take it off, right? That's the worst that can happen. You try things. It's called the creative process, right? So if you are a teacher or if you have children, when do you guys start school? Because like I said, we start the week after this. Um, teachers start on August 1st and students start on August 3rd. So now that said, we do get a fall break and we do get a spring break. So um, as much as I will want to whine about starting early, it has its benefits. <laughs> All right, I think that's not bad. Let's cut the whole length off and see what it looks like. I should just cut these in half already so that I don't have to flip the whole thing. So yeah, if you uh, it's if you're in education, you know the word balanced schedule. My school does not have quite a balanced schedule. A balanced schedule is basically it's is a step closer to year-round school. Um, you start earlier and later, but you have a long like the balance comes at the quarters are balanced and the breaks are balanced too. So you would have like a two-week fall break maybe and a two week spring break and maybe a three week winter break and then probably a four or five week summer as opposed to what we have, which I think we have a eight or nine week summer. So we're not quite a balanced schedule. We are on our way to it though. Not that we're planning to have it. I just mean we're closer to it than some schools. 
yeah, that's kind of neat. And I'm glad I added the pink on the top. Yeah, that's kind of heavy over there, but I don't mind. I like it. All right, put this back away. And I think I'm just not going to have, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm going to let this just be whatever it ends up being. I wonder if there's like a functional something I could put over here. Um, I could put a notes thing. I bet a notes thing would fit right there. And then if there's just something I want to keep in mind, I can do that. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. going like I'm gonna cut this make it even more smaller more smaller I'm gonna take this okay let's let's do this the easy way here let me put this here and I can just use this for whatever comes to be whatever comes that's crooked whatever becomes needed right Oh, that stuck down good. <laughs> it may just stay crooked. I don't know how to get this straight, I'll be honest with you. That might have been the best I could get, and I just pulled it up. All right, that's good enough. So yeah, that's cute. Okay, and that can just be for whatever. It could be for like planning for the school to start or some last minute things we want to do, just something for fun. It could be even for journaling, it could be for gratitude. I could use that for anything. All right, folks, if I do anything else, I will be doing it off camera and it'll show up in the picture after this. But for now, this is going to be my spread. All I'm going to do is carry around with me a clean color dot marker and make some dots for my to-do list, sort of like that. You can tell I didn't check off a lot last week. That's because I worked on this the whole week. That's all pretty much I got to cross off. I did get to cross it off though. We did it in five days. It's not bad. Anyway, painting kitchen cabinets, yeah. So this will be my friend this week. So thank you for watching. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please give me a subscribe. And yeah, I hope you have a great week. Stay safe, stay healthy, happy planning. And if you're getting close to the end of the summer break too, enjoy. Bye-bye. Okay, forgot something, something important. If you've been watching my channel lately, you know how I use these little things. But if you haven't, let me explain. So not only do I put the washi on these, but I take some extra sticker paper that's left over from making stickers. And, or you could just use, again, you could use address label paper, address label paper, address labels, and I can't separate this. And I take this and I will put this in the middle of the washi and I will write on it what this washi is for. Um, so a lot of people do what I do, which is put washi for something that lasts a while. But I also like to label it. I don't just want to have the washi there. And you can't really write on top of washi. As cool as washi is, it's not that good. So if I put this sticker here, then I can write what that's for. So I'll write my son's house sitting and then my daughter's trip to visit her college friends and I do want to even though you can barely see that maybe on camera you can't see it all but I can see it and it bugs me so I want to cut that more blunt so yeah thought I'd add that I did add a few more things I added some of these remember these schmutzes I made that were like mud marks really they're makeup marks I added a few of these around just to give it some texture um, but yeah there we go now I'm closer to done. <laughs> Bye-bye.